Hi, this is Kyle Krafka, and I'm going to show you how to get connected to the resources you'll need for 1730. This video is for Mac users, so if you're a Windows user, you'll want to check out the other video. If you're a Linux user, this video should be similar enough. We're going to look at how to actually get connected to the machine so you can enter commands. We're going to learn how to transfer files back and forth. And I'm going to show you a little detail you need to know about getting connected to your virtual machine. So the nice thing about Mac is it's got everything you need built right in. I can just, uh, from Finder, I can click on my desktop to select Finder, click on Go, then Utilities. And here in my Utilities folder, there's Terminal.app. I can drag this to my dock. I can drag it to the desktop. Uh, this is just for easy access, since you'll be using it all the time. And I'll double click on it to open it. And here I am. Uh, the default background is white. I've customized mine to be black. Uh, and this is a terminal exactly the same. It works almost exactly the same as Nike. So I can run commands like PWD, uh, LS. It even has VI and Emacs on it. And this is on your Mac. So it's handy, but anything you do is going to be on your Mac. Most of the stuff you'll do for this class will be on Nike or your virtual machine. So to connect, we'll use the command called SSH. And this is the same command that's available on your Mac and any Linux machine. So SSH in the format is username at nike.cs.uga.edu. I'll push enter. The first time it'll ask you, uh, it'll ask you, you're saying, saying you're connecting to a foreign host. It'll show you a key and ask you if you really want to connect and if you want it to remember it. You'll say yes, you'll connect, and then you'll enter your password. Notice that the password does not show any dots or stars. That's okay. It is still listening to your password. And now I'm connected. So any commands I run now are being executed on this remote server, on Nike. Uh, and I can just type exit to disconnect. Now I'm back on my Mac. All right, that's uh, the basics of getting connected to Nike. Uh, if you need to copy files back and forth, a great application for that that I use is called FileZilla. It's freely available online, and it works pretty much the same. You'll enter in the host name, which is nike.cs.uga.edu. Uh, nike You'll enter in your username and your password. And the port number, This, uh, if you move your mouse over it, it'll remind you that the default port is 21, but the def uh, I'm sorry, that's the default for FTP, but the default for SFTP is 22. We're using SFTP, we need the port 22. Now when I connect, the files on my local machine are on the left and the files on Nike are on the right. So I can drag files back and forth, I can drag them from the right hand side to my desktop, and desktop and back, and uh, that allows me to copy files. All right. Now the other detail you need to know is getting connected to your virtual machine. The virtual machines are behind UGA's firewall. Nike is not. So you can connect to Nike, but watch what happens when I try to connect to my virtual machine. I'll enter my IP address, my username. It'll just sit there and eventually it'll time out because UGA's firewall is not going to let it through. I can hit Control C to cancel that. Uh, one way around that would be to log into Nike first. Enter my password. And uh, use the SSH command again to log into my virtual machine. Now one alternative to entering the IP address is actually just entering the host name. This only works when you're on Nike but it is shorter. So I'll enter in my password. And now I'm logged on to Nike, which is logged into my virtual machine. So when I exit, I'll have to actually exit twice to get back to my Mac. All right. Uh, there is another way of doing this, which I, I think is probably a little bit better, but it does require some additional software. To do this, you'll have to go to remote.uga.edu. When you go there, uh, you'll enter your MyID and password, and it'll download some software that lets you get connected to the VPN, which is the Virtual Private Network. And here, I'll show you. Uh, 
I'm not actually going to install the software, but it is very automated. It sets it up just the way you need it. And once this is installed, once you give it all the permission to install, it puts a little application up in your menu bar. Uh, it's not permanent. You can take it out of the menu bar and only put it up there when you need it. But uh, you'll click on Cisco AnyConnect and you'll connect to remote.uga.edu just like this. And you will type in your UGA My ID and password. And once you click connect, you're essentially on campus. It will uh, treat you like you are on campus even though you're not. And so after you've done that, once you're connected to the VPN, you can go back to your terminal and you don't have to worry about connecting to Nike first. You can just SSH uh, to using your username at, then you have to use the IP address of your virtual machine. And then it'll ask you for password and everything It should work. I don't have it installed right now, so uh, it's not going to let me through. But that is a better way. So I hope this tutorial has been informative, and I hope you have a great day.